Good morning, children. Now, we have learned about money. We know that money is needed for all activities, our daily life activities. But some of the activities are such which are not needed money at all. But most of the thing in our daily life, whatever we are used, and maybe it is not for daily life, it needs money. That you have learned in this chapter, like for uh, getting food, food items, like for getting medicine, like uh, to go to somewhere, uh, like uh, for your clothes, like this way many things, even for some recreation also you need money that you have learned. And that this is also you have learned that uh, we use one special symbol to denote money. Okay? In India, which notes we are using that we have learned? What are the information written on the notes that also you have learned? So now, it is time to be little bit smart. How? Like you are going to shopping for shopping with your parents and at that time you are seeing after buying something your parents are paying money cost of that item. But now you also have to learn how to count that money. After buying, how much you have to give to shopkeeper, that you have to learn. So, through this acti shopping activity, you will understand how to count, how to pay the bill, whatever you have purchased. Okay? So, let's start. See here, shopping activity given. Here, you can see some picture and on the top you can see it is written that price list means wherever you go you can see some price of that item was written shopkeeper in the sweet shop also you can see in other shop also you can see that some of the price tag will be sticked on that item so here some of the price list given suppose you have gone to a shop you have seen this price list what is that a pencil cost rupee 5. This is rupee symbol. A ball cost rupee 25. A kite cost rupee 3. One chocolate cost rupee 1 only. And one crayon box cost rupee 50. So, you suppose you have gone to that shop and you want to buy. Find out the cost to buy two pencils. Then, what you will do? One pencil cost 5 rupees. See, one pencil cost 5 rupees. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And two pencil you need. Another 5 rupees you have to give. That means 5 plus 5 equal to 10. So, what you will write? Rupee 10. Isn't it? Rupee 10. This way you will calculate. Okay? Now, second number. To buy one packet of crayons and a chocolate. Now you can see here, one packet of crayons cost 50 rupees. Better to write here and after that you will remove it. 50 rupees. And one more thing you want to buy that is one chocolate. What is the cost of the chocolate? Rupee 1. So here you will write rupee 1. 50 plus 1 equal to 51. So, so how much you have to pay to the shopkeeper? 51 rupees. Afterwards, you remove the drop part. This is for your wealth minus the Okay? Okay. Now, take another example. To buy a ball and a kite. One ball costs 25 rupees. So, we will write below 25 rupees. A ball is one ball and a kite. One kite costs 3 rupees. So 25 plus 3 is equal to. After 25, you have to count 3, 26, 27, 28. So how much you have to pay? 